Welcome to the Empire by this rampant and welcome back to my Holy Roman Empire campaign for the uh, Stainless Steel Historical Improvement Project. God damn it. Uh, mod for Medieval 2, where we're going to continue where we left off from last time. Or right now, we are at war, currently still, with Denmark and with Venice. At the moment, we are focusing primarily on Denmark at the moment because they are currently excommunicated. Don't know how long this is going to last. But we are going to try and push on into them. I am a little worried about the fact that I have been pissing off a lot of factions. Uh, probably because of my aggressive expansion. I know we saw the um, little thing earlier on in this campaign. That kind of talks about the way that it operates in this mod. And I could have sworn that technically the only region that should have been really hindering me because of that. Because um, it's not considered a core region for me. Is Dijon. I thought everybody else, it might be that only the uh, dark yellow is core region, and these yellow ones, even though they're part of my victory conditions, aren't considered core regions. Maybe? I am not sure. But uh, I guess one that maybe it was only Dijon that was going to make it so it really pisses off people, but eh, it doesn't seem to be the case. Um, I am going to have it so that right now I do see this rebel army around here. I do want to get rid of them. Uh, I'm going to have it so that for now at least we're going to try and technically slow down our expanse a little bit. I'm going to have it, so let's build this town watch up here, and then once that's built up, then we'll move out of Lubeck. Um, I'm going to try and have it so we're kind of trying to be a little bit slower in our expanse, making sure we're securing regions more before we push out. Um, I do want to make sure around here, I'm going to get another watchtower around here, as we want to build at least one of them a turn, trying to get better vision. I do still want to try and hit the- oh wow, that's got a huge garrison. Still rebel. Poland hasn't ta attacked that just yet, which is good for us. Uh, you guys are good for garrisons. I know I'm getting some more around here. And with Ulm, I think you guys just need more archers. I'll get another one. Try to have two archers there, because then that will be a pretty good garrison for you guys for right now. Um, let's get uh, started with this fight right here with the rebels. They're probably going to run. They are not going to run. Okay. They've got one general. Are you still a cab unit? Yes, he is. So he is a cab unit. Um, they've got that two archers, and then a bunch of basic infantry. Should be pretty good for this army to be able to deal with. So we can kill these guys off, and then I think... I want to try and have this guy bring him for his forces back to try and help out against Venice. But part of me feels like I want to also get rid of the rebel settlement west of here. If I get a little bit more reinforcements, we can do that. But also I want to make sure, again, that we're not going to be expanding too quickly um, that we're going to piss off France. Because if we piss off France, that's not going to work out the best for us, honestly. Uh, if I'm attacked only from the north and south, that's fine. That 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 is something we can deal with. If we are attacked on our south flank 2, or sorry, western flank 2, that's going to be a bit of a problem. Uh, just a little bit. Let's have this on my cab. Let's move you guys over here. And some of you guys over here. Um, are they going to advance on me? They are. Okay, archers. Oh, no, nope, they are turning away. Okay, let's have you guys then. Right now, their hunters are in the back there. Mercenary macemen. Yeah, I can have my cab rush on in here pretty easily. You guys can all hit these units. Hit the archers. That should get them to try and run back over towards us, possibly. And then just ignore the infantry with my cab for right now. Let's get charged there. You guys kind of go back around them, though. Uh, pull back from those mercenary macemen. Is that going to be enough to pull them back towards us? Yeah, now they are. Okay, so now they're committing. So pull back there. You guys pull back around this way. I'm going to probably actually want to bring you back around over towards the uh, cab they've got. Because once they have no cavalry, this is a pretty easy battle for us. So let's have you guys keep trying to pull back here. See, that's a male knight's unit. Let's have you guys kind of try and run over there. You guys start attacking him. You guys start attacking him. All my other cab, make your way over. Skirmishers keep doing anything. Number wise, 20% of the forces are already dead, which is off to a good start. Uh, this guy's kind of not in the best position. Move this archer back a little bit here, because otherwise they're just going to charge you. You stay where you are. Mailed knights are broken. Good. Let's now focus on the general's bodyguard now. 20% of the forces are dead there. Let's see if they do have a spearman unit around here. Hopefully the general dies before that becomes an issue. Oh yeah, no, he's dying. He's down to, like, what, 16 guys now? He's down to 10, 11 guys. Okay. Come on, kill him, and then we'll run away from here, I think. Although, it's probably better to do that sooner rather than later. He's taking some good damage. No need to end, unnecessarily stay in melee combat with these infantry units. Keep pulling back. I think that Macemen we can charge without too many issues. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, he's down to a couple guys. Pull back again. So 
down. You guys are good. I can actually move these men over to try and surround. This here is holding well. Cavalry, let's get you guys to hit this base men once more. Well, actually, eh. A couple of you actually go back around. Let's have you finish off those hunters. Finish off those hunters. I'll have it so these three units at least try and hit the mazeman. Because once these hunters are done with, and then I can charge on in here, probably break these guys. Just bodyguards are about to die. Yeah, because that guy should almost instantly break on that charge. Um. Yes. Two guys. Okay. Pull back with the calf. I'll have you guys try and make your way over now to try and hit this blob of infantry here. That guy's breaking. Hit the other hunter units. So let's hit the mercenary amazement. Then as soon as this guy's dead, I can bring you back around and try and hit the spearmen and try and break them. So those hunters instantly broke. Those are my guys. Yeah, get back over here. Try and hit the mercenary spearmen more so specifically. The and they've got their general. Please. He's running. He has kind honor. Uh, he's a rebel. I don't think I really have to care, technically. It's just the fact that you guys are fighting to the death. Let's just see if he's going to pull back maybe. Broken the enemy no, that's good. No one shall I think he'll die, he technically, because he is a ca uh, he is a, a rebel unit. So I think he'll be out of the way. I'll merge uh, these units, and then I'm going to try and see if maybe we can get a couple more reinforcements. Then we can start making our way over to the other rebel settlement. But I need to kind of slow my expansion a little bit, I guess, technically. Also, there's multiple reasons why I want to do that. I do want to make sure that we get to have a lot of technological advancement in this campaign. I don't want to be sitting around with the same units the entire campaign. Let's get one more. Let's get one more of these. One more watchtower. And I can bring you back around down this way. Wait until you get some reinforcements. Then have you hit Gand. Um, I need to make sure that I think I just can hold what I do have right now. And you can have up to free un uh, two units right around here. So let's grab some more there. You don't have anything to recruit there, so that's okay. And then I want my guys. Oh, I forgot to talk to you guys. I yeah, so let's try and see if we can, can get can some do. trade rights with you guys. We accept Barely accepted. Only under uh, well, a lot of the other factions do not like me right now. Let's try and uh, for map information. That's just rejected. Poor relations right now. Until next so, they don't like me a ton. What about my other diplomat? Because you're over here. <sighs> Will you guys now consider P uh, an alliance with me, maybe? It's balanced! It is balanced! I must Just rejected. You. Okay. That is all. We can try again next turn. Um, I think I might have to start trying to see if I can offer them some money. Let's see here. Yeah, right oh, literally next turn I should finish that mission. Okay, so that should be good there. Might also make it so they like me a little bit more, but now I might have to try and offer some money to Poland to get them to like me. I know in my Scotland campaign, when I was playing this mod last, um, I had it so that I kept bribing the Holy Roman Empire to get me to let them to like me. Um, about every 5k did quite a bit, and so if I can give them 5k, um, that might get them to like start liking me a little bit more, so I can start trying to get them to like me. Um, because if I can kind of Expand slowly enough to not piss them off, and I can bribe them enough to get them to like me. Um, I should be able to get some factions to actually ally with me. And primarily, I would say Poland is top priority. Poland and Hungary. I don't know if... Is Poland at war with Hungary right now? They might be. If they are, that might make things a little complicated if I try and ally with them as well. I am, no matter what, I'm going to be killing Denmark. I'm going to be killing Venice. Norway, I still don't know. Norway, I could see a possible alliance, but also, knowing the mod, knowing uh, just Medieval 2 in general, I probably should just get rid of them and just make sure I have all of Scandinavia under my control. Um, just have to wait until we make sure um, I can try and have it so they are excommunicated as well before we fully commit to that fight. Let's see, a bride presented. Um, This is for, oh, this is actually for my heir. Yes, I will accept you. And then, uh, Old Generals, so let's see, so if you play a ship, keep in mind that Old Generals, but 50 to 55, will uh, be much less useful in combat. Um, okay. Yeah, because we started to see that with my previous, with my king missing funds. Yep, I know, we, we kind of know about this a little bit. So let's see, so player with large ships, prison of constant temptation. So we want to have it so we don't have too much money, but we don't want to have too little money. So, we, and we eventually do want to get some banks built up. Uh, support the Crusaders. Ah, uh, let's see. My lord, the noble souls defending this faith in the holy religion are desperate for need of our assistance. The king of Jerusalem is struggling. Um, I will offer them some money. I will hope that this uh, 
gets people to like me more, since I'm just deciding to support, I will do so. We are actually a fairly wealthy country right kingdom at the moment right now. Hopefully that maybe helps out with uh, public order or just relations possibly. Uh, and then let's see, how old are you? You're 46, so you're still a bit... Uh... Oh, your loyalty went up a little bit! Oh my god, that's great. Okay. And then, how old is my current king right now? Because he's still just chilling here. He is currently 64. He's getting up there. And I know I'm not going to be able to crown him before my uh, this guy comes of age. Because Frankfurt right now, it's five turns until this finishes up. Then we have to start getting the church built up so that we can actually uh, crown my king. Um, pits built up over here. Um, we don't aren't growing right now. I want to keep the amount of uh, taxes I've got around here if possible. Uh, I might have to lower it. Because that will give me a little bit of upkeep. A little bit of growth. It makes sure we're not losing growth. So if I lower it down to high taxes, then that should be fine. You'll start growing once again. Go with that. Report, and then Alliance announced. Um, Castile and Argon. Argon. Nice. Norway does not like me as much. That's not great. Okay. And then Generous. Oh, that's why your loyalty went up, I think, actually. Nope. Uh, you feel appreciated. That's why. Okay. Uh, and then my spy here. I do need you to keep trying to explore. Can I go more around the eastern side of the uh, forces of, or around Scandinavia? Kind of see what's going on around here. As I know right now, at least. This city does not have a lot in it. I can walk into that any time, a second right now. But again, we're going to give it a little bit of time. I'll wait until we can recruit units from here. So technically five to four turns from now. We will then be pushing out of there. Um, over here, what I can try and do... As a way to try and make it so we're not going to be pissing off other factions nearly as much. We can have it so we maybe try and actually starve out areas more often than we just straight up assault them. So like, hey, I can get here. Um, well, I'd have to push through you first. Push through you. I can start, start sieging this out. Uh, if they decide to attack me and sally out, that's fine. But if I can just starve them to death, hey, that gives me some time to wait between um, taking cities to make sure I don't piss everybody off. And then let's see. So now... Uh, what do I want to get for money or, uh, public order? Uh, you're about to finish your roads there. Don't need your roads run there. Let's see. Everyone's workshop. That does just get more money in trade. That would not be a bad thing to get. Because there's another about 16 trade, another 100, only 50 from that. But that's something you start building up there. Um, I should probably honestly get the farm clearance here. Takes 20 turns to get it, but start start that up. Um, we've got a some of better areas in here. I wonder if I want to grab another unit of skirmishers. Yeah, I think get another me crossbow around here. Try and get another crossbow, and I think that's about as much as I should spend for this turn. Yeah. Also, I do need to try and have it so. I might. I kind of want to move out sooner. Like, if I... Well, what I could do is... So, you guys can get over to Lubeck. Can't get in the city, but you can get over there. I could also... Do I have that unit here? No, I could do this. I could leave behind, so if I merge men together. Um, let's leave behind you and you. Walk on out. And then what I can do is grab you and you... Actually, uh, grab this guy, because he doesn't have any food, anyways. Um, we can make our way up this way to start pushing on into Denmark. So you guys go up here. Make our way up. We'll be able to hit their next turn. I kind of want to have it so we slow our advance a little bit to make sure we don't piss off everybody else, but also I want to make sure that we aren't going to be just wasting our troops and just having them sit there doing nothing for right now. Hello, Hungry! You're actually offering an alliance and trade. Gladly. I will gladly accept that. And then let me try and get some map information from you guys if I can. Uh, promise to attack Poland. No! You're at war with Poland. Shit, I just realized that now. I'm allied with you. I'm gonna say no. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna just decline this. I don't wanna, like, straight up decline it. Just do that. It is no matter. Ah, uh, that's not what I want. Well, I have an alliance. It's not with Poland, like I was originally trying to do. But it is somebody in my eastern side of my faction. 
if I support Hungary in their war against Poland, I could still have my Eastern ally. It wouldn't be Poland initially, but like I was initially wanting, but I think that's okay. Because I need allies, and I need to make sure I keep my allies um, so that I can actually have a bit better chance to defend my eastern side. Hopefully they'll maybe even help out against Venice? Maybe? I don't know. Um, I didn't see their war with Venice. Treachery? Who the fuck? No! Okay, fuck you, Poland. How dare you? Oh my god. Let's see, so in ship, crusade, volunteers, present province. No chapter houses and forget those troops. We haven't had a crusade yet, which is kind of weird. Oh! <laughs> Just captured. Today, Probably gonna have something now pop up now have... soon, maybe. Uh, Second Lantern Castle. As we're now on the militia, crossbows are available from cities in Western Europe. Nice. Noon mission, build a small church in Spain. I can do that. Um, small church. Build a small church. I'll do that. Um, that's fine there. Town ready to upgrade. Oh, nice. Oh, this is ready to upgrade. Gladly start that up. Great council. <sighs> Basically, there's a lack of piety. I will offer the money in there. I don't have much else to do now because of that. That's okay, I guess. Um, campaign for lands. Okay, so you guys. Let's see. Are there any other armies around here? Or is it just, it's just the city? Okay. So, we can seize this. I can assault it next turn. Although I could, again, starve them out. Go along with that idea as opposed to immediately assaulting. Just because I know um, that it is going... Well, the longer I sit there... Oh, no. Poland's starting to dislike me. Oh, that's not good. I, probably, I might have to start a war with Poland at some point. Uh, not yet. Because what we're going to do here is uh, you guys. So, first see if I can push this guy back. Uh, Dion Moon? What the hell? Weird. Um, now just go starve this area out. So, this area, I'm gonna starve it out fully, because I think we'll be fine with the amount of money I'm making, that I'll be able to just starve this out until it's fully dead. That way we're not gonna be too aggressive, I guess. And then I think we can wait until maybe... Eh, turn 19. Turn 19 will assault this. I don't think we'll fully starve it out, because this one's just three guys. So, I'm not going to starve that one out fully, but we can at least sit there longer than they're thinking. Um, unless, like, you guys decide to attack me. I'm going to hope Norway decides not to attack me. Let's see, what is going on here? So, the Soviet Empire has increased uh, King's Purse. That's, well, okay, so I guess they are now doing a little bit better for themselves. Um, spheres of influence. So, taking settlements will usually make your rivals angry and negative affect your reputation. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> um... There are certain provinces that are perceived to be yours. By default, conquering such provinces more often than recapturing is seen as legitimate and your reputation will not be damaged. Um, these are highlighted in the darker color. Okay, so anything that's the darker color, we, if I take it back, nobody gives a shit. Um, be aware that your conquests have political ramifications as well. Um, instead, it's wise to ally yourself with factions that do not share any claim to the same ancestral lands as your expansion into such areas would certainly hurt your relations. So... I don't need to expand over to the east. So, that actually is fine with me and Hungary. Um, having them as an ally. So, that's, that's at least something. Um, let's see. So, it's an enemy campaign. Besieging. And new family member. Ch Christian Welf. And then we finished up some wells around in wine. Uh, now, this area is going to start growing again. It's already about to grow the city itself. So, I think we'll just kind of hold off on building anything there. Um, for right now. And then... Oh, hello! I will see you. I, I, I was going to wait a little bit, but I think we're going to attack this now. Because uh, I do see that large army of Denmark right there. Um, we should be able to very easily kill this guy, practically. He's got a infantry general's bodyguard. It should not be that difficult to kill him off. And ideally, I kind of want that army... I, I didn't get a good look at what it's in, what's in it. Um, I'm going to actually bring my spy back over this way. Um... Either have them try and attack me, and then I can kill them off in a defensive battle. Or we're going to have to deal with that army sooner than later. Because they don't care about... Other factions do not care from fighting armies. They don't give a shit about that. They only care if I'm actually capturing regions. And so, like, me taking this city, that's going to piss some people off. Uh, me killing an army of Denmark? Not so much. So, that's what we're going to try and focus on more so, I'd say. So, let's have you kind of make your way on up, break down the gates... My cavalry is not going to be all that necessary in this battle right now. Basically, it's going to be all of just my skirmishers for the most part. Basically, you guys 
as soon as you're ready, we'll just kind of unload on them. Do the towers here. The towers don't actually activate? Huh. Actually. Um, I think then I can just keep moving my I can move some of my skirmishers. Like right here. And uh, right here. I can get some high ground advantage uh, above them. And then just unload on them. I should not have to fight a single one of these guys in melee, ideally. Okay, they're just letting me walk straight on in here to get my skirmishers in position. Um, if they don't uh, do anything now at this point, I'm just going to really just keep shooting them all to death. Because, like, you guys are in position. Uh, these guys are just about in position. No, but they are going to start trying to fight. This is the general specifically that we're going to want to kill, if anything. Uh, you guys focus your attention around here, I'd say, because those guys are kind of just staying around. But if we take out the general, who at the moment is actually doing quite a bit of damage... Uh, it is going up in my favor more so, if anything. Our men are the metal. I might actually switch like you guys over to this guy right ours. now, maybe? No, they're all in melee now, so it doesn't matter who I'm specifically shooting. There's going to be friendly fire no matter what I do. So, keep unloading on them. Oh, I'm expecting that we're probably going to lose maybe fourth of our army overall. Although, if we keep going up at this rate, we might not lose that many. Okay. Enemy I mean, general, as soon as he died, they just all gave up. So we end up losing about, yeah, about fifth my army. That's not that worst. Not the worst. Uh, did take a decent amount of damage on my infantry. Archers didn't take any damage at all, essentially. So that's okay. So now we have to see what's going to happen during the end turn on whether or not Denmark is going to try and attack my army or if they're going to kind of pull back to their um, core regions. Because at the moment right now, I've been able to push into them a little bit. I've now been able to kind of secure the Danish region. Uh, they have a couple more cities left still, I know, for sure. So let's have it so. Uh, just sack it. Not going to try and do too much just uh, to piss them off. Grab that. And then it'll be eight turns until you guys can try and recruit anything. So I'll try and retrain what I can. And then also uh, my spy. There he is. So... Actually, you know about a good chunk of the uh, let's see, it got around here right now. I think it's fine. Let me bring you back over this way because I want to see if they've got anything around over here right now. Uh, I could actually go with fleet if I wanted to. France and Portugal are not liking me that much. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Yep. Basano, we don't care about. I know those guys are gonna be. I'm gonna be trying to kill them at some point, anyways. Um, and then Castile does not like me. Yeah. Is enough tough enough to crack. Let's see. If you're playing the Holy Roman Empire of Poland, you need to be careful. If you conquer this city, there will be periodic invasion by Danes. Ooh. You may lower the likelihood of these invasions if your faction leader has been on a crusade and arrived to the target city and then not deserted permission as it has a crown, is a great victor, or is just a berserker or turning knight. But watch out to the character traits of the Danish ruler himself. If he hates your faction or follow the policy of protecting his people, then he's likely to take a uh, ride nevertheless. Interesting. Okay. I wonder if that's still going to happen even if I kill their faction. Because that's what I'm curious about. Um, let me have you go up here, though. Let's get a watchtower. Get one. One watchtower up there. Nothing to build here. I'm going to have you lower the taxes. I can't get it to grow, though, right now. Ah, uh, that's not what I want. I could technically convert it to a castle, but I might just have to just try and grab somebody else. Um, do I have any generals that are really good, uh, chivalry? Um, no, nothing amazing. I see a lot of people with two chivalry. Nothing more than two. So I think that's fine. Again, you guys are gonna keep sieging over there. Is there anything I can do for some more money? Because I'm trying to see if I can just... I know this gives me more trade. Uh, corruption of 83... That is not worth it then, actually, at the moment right now. I want to make sure I get something more that gives me more law bonus to make up for that. Which, um... Probably have to be the church, actually. Otherwise, a good safe bet for money. Farms. Farms are always a good safe bet for money. They give... Uh, about, yeah, about almost, uh... About 60, 70 there. And then 100 from that. Yeah, I'll grab some more farms there. It takes so long for them to be constructed anyways that I might as well just start them now. Damn it, so Venice is besieging me once again. Um, uh, and multiple areas are actually besieged right now. Um, yeah, this, yeah, I'm gladly going to give you a wife. Yeah, this is this guy's been really good for us right now. Um, Fog of War. Oh, this is new. I haven't seen this one before. So let's see. So, waging more than this. Um, 
Is our ignorance. Definitely got the adequate information conveyed through increased cost of watch hours. Yeah, no shit. And absence of initial ones. Reduce sight range of agents. Uh, and bind that training may be unfriendly. And reduce sight line of inexperienced generals. So, uh, do these changes are getting more important? Uh, channels, remind. Okay, so for great immersion, the player may also refrain from checking the composition of enemy army before battle. Unless he has scattered their force with a spy before due to the limitations of the engine, it's not possible to disable the preview of an enemy force entirely. Ah, let's see, but such a house should be followed by those who would like to face a real historically accurate challenge. Interesting. Okay, uh, universities. Um, we do need to get more of these at some point. The player must build a certain number of schools, two or ten for Italian and four for another for the European infections, and then the historical event will occur. Ooh. Okay, so. Caribbean Seas arrive! Okay. This, I think, should be fine. We just gotta wait for them to come to us. We should be good here. It's a pretty big army here. That's actually their current king, actually. Wow, okay. So he's there. Um, we've got Regensburg, is also siege. Should be good there. I've got a pretty decent garrison there. Freeburg as well. Um, as well. This area. What's this? Come face me. Okay. I'd like you guys to get some ladders. But I think we should be okay. Um, most of faction is the Western the Eastern Roman Empire. And then one of my family members died. Oh no! Walram! Uh that was the guy in Colon. Ooh, um. Oh, I shouldn't have had him in there. Actually. Oh no, that guy's about to die. I do need another general in there at some point. Um, I don't think I have an extra general anywhere around right now. Oh, actually, I do. I'll put you in there, I guess. Let's have you become the governor of this area. Because I'm actually losing quite a bit of money because of that. Um, construction report. So we got the quarries in Lyon. Um, I'm probably going to have you get your roads here. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's worth it. Yeah, get those roads there. It's about a 700 gold increase overall. Uh, Lubeck now has their garrison, so I can now make sure um, get this guy because he's actually going to be free up. It gives them a little bit more to watch over that area. And then I should probably... Honestly, I kind of want to get the roads here built up too, or at least start them. It doesn't do a lot for trade. Corruption's going to go up four, but it will give me another 100 from just the building income. And it does help out with movement, which we will need to focus on. Now, which is a poor... I do need to get another diplomat. Um, oh, I didn't look at that trait long enough. Let's see, Frankfurt. Uh, he actually can... Oh, I can, but I'm actually my limit right now with them. Didn't you kill him? Do you have a oh, I'm only supposed to have one right now. Okay, so what I want to do is let me go back up here. I'm going to try and talk to uh, France, I'd say. I'll try and see if I can get uh, get them to like me a little bit more by trying to offer them some money. Because I know I'm probably pissing them off with me taking the land around here. So it wouldn't be the worst idea to give them some money to make them like me a little bit more. Alrighty, here they come. So they are going to try and attack Regensburg. Uh, not the worst army. They do have a couple units of cab, but they do have some ladders. I have enough men that I should be able to, if I can focus their attention onto the walls... I have enough archers and skirmishers in general that I can unload into their units. Their infantry is pretty comparable to mine. Ooh, also, are they attacking from this angle? They are. Good. This is the best area for them to attack from. Because this way, uh, let's see. So you're a javelin, you're the crossbow, and you're the archer. Because, yeah. again, what I can do now is I can have it so that you guys can be lined up right over here. This is the best angle for them to attack from because I can then put all my skirmishers right here into a really good spot to throw shit and hit them with. Um, actually, I might... Yeah, let's do this. Let's put you over here. Then this guy over here. Because that way, you can throw your javelins, but then also soften them up. And then actually, uh... Yeah, no. Put you up there. Oh, shit. Let me drop down. You be on this side, just to make sure they don't open the gates randomly. But kind of right there. Or actually, maybe this guy, because he's got more men. And then you just kind of wait for everybody else to get up here. Uh, then we need my cav. Need you guys to get ready. Kind of go right here. We need to get them off of the ram. We need to get them off of the siege tower. And as long as we do that, we will be able to hold. So I'll start the battle. Let's get you guys to run on in. Right there. Kind of run on up. Make sure the gate's shut. That's always the concern there. Come on, guys. Get on out. All of you. All of you. There you go. Okay. Now let's hit the ram. And then the siege tower, and then I need to run away after this. 
I don't want to stay in melee combat for very long. I just want to make sure they don't use this stuff and then run away. So I'll drop that stuff there. And then let's try and pull back immediately. I'm actually gonna go back more back this way. Yeah, there we go. Now go over here. There. Now they should have dropped those. They shouldn't the use the ram and the siege tower now. Don't move the other one, please. They're not. Okay, so let's get my calf back inside the city, and now we just have to hold the ladders now. It seems they've gone with the sit here and do nothing defense. Um, so right now, I've killed about a third of their army so far. Crossbows, I'm trying to adjust you guys over to here to see if I have enough range to hit their cav units. Although, actually, uh, I might be better just to try and uh, go from here. Because if I can deal some good damage to those mercenary Frankish knights, that'd be really good. Because it is a nice unit right there. It's probably the best unit they have. So let's try and hit, see if we can try and hit you um, with the last of your ammo. Because for the most part... Oh, they do have this urban spear militia unit too. That I think they're kind of just stuck under the tower? Yeah, they're currently stuck under the tower at the moment. And sadly, my towers don't have enough damage to destroy the siege tower to make them start moving again. Okay, we were able to do quite a bit of damage. I was able to take that guy down to about 36 of his cab units there. As I do ignore that spearman is. The spearman is not that big of a problem for us, honestly. I'd rather focus my attention specifically on to their elite units, like the cav, or any uh, heavy hitters, um, like any mercenary infantry units. Now the question is, are they also going to attack... Um, this is this is not Freeburg. This was this is Regensburg. Uh, I wonder if they're going to attack Freeburg as well this turn. Because they were also see. Yep, they are. Okay, so they are going to attack us here as well. Uh, this area here, I've got a pretty good chance as well. They only have a ram though. But this is a castle. Mm. I believe in you, Welf. Well, I'm trying. This is only just a wooden castle, so it's not going to have multiple layers. Mm. I do a little bit more. I just don't like how what they've got in this army. I think we should be okay, though. Because, let's see. So, layout here, no palisades. So, the only way in is going to be directly this way. Um, they've got... Those guys have one archer, two infantry units, and they've got the cap. Okay. I need to try and have it so... The cap is the issue. Infantry, I should be able to do actually quite a bit of damage to with my cavalry. Because what I'm going to do is, I'm I'm going to be able to delay them for a time, um, but I want to try and have it so we do as much damage as we possibly can to the units using the ram. Because until they bring the ram up, they're not going to actually um, send their cap forward. So for right now, archers kind of line up like right there. Infantry get in position. I kind of try and hold the gates like right there and right there. But then my cav, we're just going to keep cycle charging into this guy, trying to, especially this is the levy crossbowman, so the levy crossbowman we can kill pretty easily. So go right there, that's the spear militia. So what we're going to do is just keep attacking this guy until they hopefully run out of infantry, and then my infantry can be used to deal with everybody else, because they are led by a captain, so these guys should break pretty easily. So there's one unit dead, they'll send up the spearman next. They're kind of moving their cav forward though. Yeah, pick up the ram. I'll try and kill you too. Hopefully you break just as easily as everybody else. Because we've already gotten rid of their skirmishers, so we now have the range advantage. I'm actually going to use cease fire and save your ammo. Uh, these guys took a little bit longer to charge in there than I'd like. Pull back. Uh, did it break? It did break. Never mind. Stay there. Run it down. And then I need to pull back once again. Right there. Right there. Because if I reduce down the infantry to practically nothing, just enough they can barely still use the ram, um, that's fine by me. Because then I actually have enough infantry that this cap should not be a problem. So let's make sure that you actually get in the charge this time first, as my uh, infantry, my cap took a bit too much damage. Let's charge on there. And actually, they're just going to give up. Okay, I thought that other infantry unit of theirs was going to come back, pull back away from them for a second. That way they aren't going to be fighting to the death. Capture them, and there we go. Didn't do any damage to their cavalry. Took a little bit of casualties. Uh, primarily on the mounted sergeants. <sighs> I can't remember if those guys are recruitable around here. If they're recruitable around here, that's fine. We'll be able to replenish those guys, not have to worry too much, and keep holding this area. Because for right now, we're going to be focusing all of our attention onto Denmark. For, uh, Venice is going to take some time for us to be able to get them into position where we want to kill them. Again, try and ransom. If they accept it, hey, it gives me a bit more money. If they reject it, I then just get to kill them all. So I think that is the best case scenario we have there. This is not what I want. Um, 
I'm gonna withdraw, I think. Let's see, that armor's not that bad. I am a little low on troops, the concern. Um, I'm gonna do cab units there. A lot of infantry. Actually, because this is an infantry general, I might actually be able to win this. I've got four units of cab with my general. No, no, you know what? Let's fight this. Let's fight this. I think we can win this fight right now. Um, I'll need to make sure we focus all of our attention onto the army attacking us first, deal with them, and then once they are dead, I can then kind of pull back and try and have it so that we will try and be as far away as possible from the army that is reinforcing because they'll be kind of coming in from down here. So grab all of my cavalry, grab all of you guys, all my cav, all my skirmishers, and then what we're going to want to do is, so my cavalry immediately, what we're going to do is probably just rush straight at them. Like have like uh, these three over here, these three over here. And then start the battle. The enemy has up and then men. just start rushing on in here. Because I need to kill this army as quickly kill. as possible. So, infantry. Make your way forward too. Skirmishers. Uh, get you guys to move up as well. And then I need to focus down this guy. Although, if I can just get some free kills on... Well, those are the hunters. They're going to start trying to unload on us. Yeah, infantry is making your way up. Cav. Try and hit the general, I'd say. Oh, no, these guys try and hit the hunters. You have a little bit less men in your units. So you try and hit the hunters. These cab units specifically try and kill the captain. Enemy is gaining the upper hand. So you guys can go there. Infantry rush on up to help out. This unit should break pretty easily with all my cab charging at it. Good charge there. Get around the backside. Um, go hit those mercenary crossbowmen. And then I'll have these guys hit them again as well. That unit's breaking. Just going after them. Yeah, because they're, they're all scattered. They're all over the place right here. So it's not that hard to actually keep running on into them. This guy's down to 34 units down. So yeah, you guys hit the hunters. He's down to 33. I can move my skirmishers over this way. As I know, the enemy reinforcements are coming from back there. And they do have some cavalry, so we will have to be careful. I need to finish this guy off sooner rather than later. Try to hit him again. Try to hit the infantry here again. We don't want to wait too long. So those guys are breaking. That's good. Only half the enemy broken, force remains. broken, routing, routing. Because I want to make sure they don't have my backs turned to them. So An enemy general has the enemy there we go. general. Feast. He's dead. Like a so there we go. There's one of them. Now to have my infantry uh, reform. Let's have you guys reform right there. Skirmishers reform about right there. Cavalry. Let's run down the rest of this army, which is mainly just this crossbow unit over here and this uh, archer over there. Now it's just this army here, which is the bodyguard. Is who we have to focus down first. Get rid of that cab unit. And the rest of this army falls pretty easily. Okay, mailed knights are here. So they're rushing on in with their mailed knights. These guys are just kind of chill chilling in range of my archers and skirmishers, which is good. Not the captain. That's the just the generic uh, cab they've got with them. All their skirmishers are rushing up, though. So if I can get my cab to run on into them, we can easily get rid of these guys early on in the fight. So we run over there into the hunters. Get rid of those guys. There we go. Are they breaking already? Uh, no, some of them are fine. Let's get you guys to come back around this way. Focus on the male knights now that they're engaging with my infantry. We can ignore these skirmishers for right now. We can get rid of them later. Yeah, you guys run in here. They're wavering broken. Immediately awesome. Perfect. Then let's have you guys kind of pull back here. Skirmishers specifically try and focus on the general's bodyguard. This cav, um, yeah, pull back here. Back on up. If we can, I'd like to surround him. There, you over there, you back here. Okay, he's taking some damage. Engage with him. Let's have you guys then surround him. There, these cab units, I'll have you try and harass the archers of theirs. So ignore the infantry. Let's go for the scriptures. Back here. Go here, he's at 13 guys. Get in melee there, and he should die pretty easily. Uh, all of you guys. Uh, use your skirmish mode. Just, uh, wait, sorry, gotta put guard mode on so you don't chase. Get back over here and start training the hunters. 18 to 40. Good start right now. Uh, generals at seven guys. That's a maceman. Let's get you guys away from him. Archers. Um, some of they're not breaking just yet. So pull back out of there. Stay away from those spearmen. Let's kind of pull this away up the hill and then let's go for these uh, crossbows over there. Ooh. Pull back right there. 
The general has to die. Five guys. Come on, kill him. Because my cab over here is doing well. Their skirmishers aren't doing anything, at least. Um, I'm going to probably try and hit this crossbowman again here. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Get away from those infantry units. He's at three guys. Shoot him point blank, please. You guys get back over here to the celebi crossbowman. You get back over here and try and kill him. Infantry's holding. Actually, try and hit these guys if you can. And he's at a one. No, you're right next to him. Uh, kind of move up here a little bit. Surround him. Kill him off. Because once he's dead, the rest of the army breaks. So he's already broken. Uh, turn back around to the hunters. Our men have slain oh, the thank enemy you. Okay, let's get back in here now and start charging into the infantry. Because with that, if we break their forces before mine break, we should have this. Oh, there we go. Some of my guys were starting to break, but now we've been able to shatter them. I now just need to get the Magic 85, and we're good. There we go. Now we're going to be able to take the cities immediately, which is great. Um, this is, this is going to make it so that we are pushing into the city a little sooner than I expected. So that might piss off France a little bit more. I'm going to hope it's not that bad, because again, I just need to try and slow my expansion just enough. Because I still want to make sure we take advantage of the fact that, hey, we need to build some buildings up, construct some buildings, keep trying to develop our regions, so we can take some time. We can take some time trying to focus on that more than just straight-up expansion. Because it takes so long to build these regions up. Uh, just sack it. And then I should probably get rid of that guy. Ooh, I've got a lot of money. Uh, Engel, I will grab you. Um, let me come from the landowners... Title. Yeah, so there are trades that basically just yeah, get increase our stuff with um, trades or farm stuff. That would be really nice though. Um, mining from uh, income from mining and metallurgy. So for this one, uh, it's both expensive, both in terms of gold cost and time to build, but they can provide a healthy income and maybe further boost if you appoint the right governor. Okay. <laughs> okay, unexpected. Um, oh, I have to do personal experience. Uh, you can get, ooh, interesting. So I can get some more foreign knowledge through Jihad's if you say. That's kind of cool. Um, after mining some time, I've managed some time in some mines, the governor will gain the good miner trait, which can provide up to 50% more mining income. Ooh. Ooh, that's nice. That's really nice. And again, missing input funds, I know about that. It just keeps popping up. I know I need to build banks. Um, how long are you going to siege me around the question? I'm hoping you don't easier, kill my yes. heir. Please don't. I think you guys should be okay. Like, balance wise, or uh, balance power wise, this is pretty even. Okay, some of their men are pretty good there. But I've also got some pretty good guys myself. They're making so many fucking rims. Um, mission success. There we go. Got that finished. Ah, uh, new family member. Ah, uh, Thorsten von Habsburg. Ah, uh, for disciplinary. This is, uh, you over here now. Again, this is gonna be the most I expand over here. I, I don't intend to, unless I'm attacked by France. Uh, I don't intend to expand any more uh, round over here, so let's just have it so we need to merge men together. And then we need to start trying to retrain our forces around here. And I'm going to get you the quarries around here. Try and grab that. How oh, would the roads get around here? Ooh, another 500. Oh, yes. Devastation of 1,000 right now. Wow. Yeah, get the get the quarries over there. Let's see what else can we build. That's building something up. Building up. Um, I haven't built anything around here yet. You guys need something that gives more public order, though. Um... This is pretty much good for everything. Gives me a little bit of uh, money, trade, and law. Also gives me access to uh, mailed knights and mailed foot knights, too. So let's grab that. Um, let's see. I want to grab... For you guys, probably the carpenter's... Yeah, the carpenter's workshop. Not a bad building. It's pretty cheap. Gives me some more trade. Gives me a little bit more money as well. And I think it reduces the cost of buildings later on, too. Um, Basil. I think Basil. Actually, ooh, that reminds me. Before I forget... First over here. So this area here. Oh, I can't get them. I was going to say. I was going to. I would love if I could have. I cannot retrain those cabins over there. Um, then over here, maybe I should do that with you guys. And get scouts. Does give me some law bonus. Otherwise, I'm probably just going to get the better farms. Um, doesn't give the bonus right now. I think it's due based on the time of year. It gives different bonuses. But grab that. Gives more money, if anything at all, at least. Um, spanner, heater. Probably just water mills. Yeah, water mills. Cheap, easy building to increase my trade. What about here? Um, You guys don't have the guild thing yet. Or the guards yet. So grab that. Because then we can have a bit easier access to get some reinforcements up north. 
Um, and I think we might save my money at that point, because I know around here, Frankfurt was going to finish this road next turn. Oh, I love that. Um, probably going to want to get the church after that. I do need to make sure that we can start trying to upgrade that so we can actually crown myself. So I'll save the rest of my money. That's good there. The bank information. So they're now at war with each other. Venice has also been excommunicated now. Okay, so I now could actually go on the offensive against them now. Uh, do I have a spy down here? I have one spy around here, which... I think I'll just turn you back around and go up here. Actually, am I at my limit for spies right now? Or can I get more spies? I'm at my limit for diplomats, for sure. Uh, I'm not at my limit for spies. Okay, so let's have you grab one spy. Let's then try and figure out what's going on down here. Um, at the moment, I only know of these two cities for Venice. I think they have more than just that. Because if I look at this right now, Venice... I would love to go hit the city of Venice. So, they were at three regions. Now they're at two. Really? Ooh, they should only have Venice and uh, Verona. Ooh, what's their military look like right now? Military is equal to mine, just about. If I get you guys pretty happy around here, I could actually send you down this way to go deal with them. Because me taking Venice... Ooh, that'd be nice. That'd be really nice if we could take Venice. Um, you trying to train your stuff around here. Trying to train around there. I might have to start trying to recruit some guys, but I can probably save my money for right now. Wait until we're ready to push on into them. Ah, and here he comes. Kong Nails to the Pious. Um, not the worst. I'm probably gonna do, honestly, a very similar um, defensive strategy that I did uh, just recently. Because, well, I'd have to kill the general first. If I can kill the king first, then I think that'll work out a lot better. Because they only have rams here. There's only rams they can use to push on in through the city. But uh, my heir now gets to fight a king. He gets to fight the Danish king. Once this guy's dead, though, I should be able to then start slowly just walking straight on into the rest of their lands. I don't think their military is that amazing right now. Although I know Norway is still doing really well for themselves. So if I show too much of a sign of weakness, they'll start jumping on me too. So, let's see, so they're attacking this section here. Actually, this is not the worst for me to be able to have all of my archers kind of up around here. So, like, you guys, I'd say, you can kind of be up in front a little bit, because you guys are not the worst about your angle. Um, I can then have you guys kind of up on the elevation area here. Actually, I can put all of you here. It's like, all of you can kind of go up here. Do adjust, but they're not. Okay. So, cav, infantry, you guys up right there. The issue is it's a lot harder for me to try and kill those things. Um, I will try and have it, though. Let's have my calf uh, go over here. Run on out. I'm going to have you try and kill the king. If you can kill the enemy king, we can very easily just slaughter this enemy army of theirs. So let's have you guys kind of set up here, 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 and then you guys all kind of back here. I'll try and have it so you guys can just all be set up there. Infantry, I'll have it so the rest of you guys try and blob up around here on the gates. We'll let them come on through and hopefully just kill their general. And then once my cav start running in the backside of their troops, they're just all going to break. That's the idea. So this right there. I need some more on this side. So like that, that, and that. Infantry-wise, they do have a little bit better quality, which does concern me. But so if you guys hold off on fire wheel for right now, everybody guard position beside my cav, actually. But cav, kind of run out here. Uh, I also do see some of those skirmishers... Like, this guy's vulnerable. Just kill him. Kill him, and then that's the mercenary Frank Schneitz. And the king is right here. So you're the man I must kill. As long as I kill you. I do do love that this is my heir. This is the one that's having to come on in and do this. So he's trying to prove himself in some regard by killing a Danish king. So if you get uh, hit the uh, hunters for a little bit, then pull back. The enemy are don't stay down there the for very long. We're going to want to pull back there. They shut the gates. Yeah, they did shut the gates. Okay, guys, so a little word there for a second. You know, you guys kind of pull back. Let's have it so that you guys can. Yeah, he's just sitting right there. So my cav, I'm gonna do a nice big wide loop here. Nice. Like right about there. They're gonna start making their way on in. Don't send your cav in just yet. Don't send it in just yet. There you go. Yeah, don't attack me just yet. Hold off on that. You guys now start unloading on them. 
Start unloading into this section. Cav is gonna try and kill the general. Let's see if you guys gonna go around them to make sure he dies. Enemy king lies dead. <laughs> While his men are confused. <laughs> Fuck yeah, he's dead immediately. Beautiful. It's probably because I think he's pretty old, actually. So he's now dead. Perfect. Uh, now their men should break pretty easily. Do you guys to make like sure you turn skirmish mode off? Because you guys will see eight percent of the forces are already dead. Yeah, unload into this section here. Oh, you guys also have fire wheel on. Got some of their light infantry here. Um, I want to kill the general's bodyguard, but he's not dying. He's not fighting me either. 13 to 7. Don't fight those infantry. Even though the general's dead, I don't expect them to start breaking just yet, so hold off on that. I want to wait until they're fully committed to the fight around here. Because 10 to 20. That's pretty good. That's pretty good right there. Okay, now just keep unloading into the area. They are shaken. I think they're now blobbed up enough back here. We can start trying to charge on in with my cavalry. Come on, I see you guys start chain routing. I have good command at least, so my men should not break. It's just whether or not my archers are able to do enough damage to get them to shatter. And these spearmen are just turning around. That's not what I want to see. Train the spear militia over here, see if he's gonna break. Third of the enemy armies are shattered about. Broken running? There we go. Yeah, if we can just run them down, please do. Let's see what these guys aren't breaking there yet. This blob is struggling. Uh, some of you are attacking. That's the bodyguard. Still has 15 guys in it? Really? Wow. I'm a little concerned about this. They're not breaking it quickly enough. Half their army is dead, though. 18% of my forces have broken. Yeah, hit the Dringar units. Come on. I need you to start breaking. I need more of you to start breaking. Keep attacking you right around here. Yeah, those guys are starting to break there. Good. See, those guys aren't wavering just yet. Pull back for a second. This battle progresses well for the Empire. Let's try and charge Stay them again. The yeah, there we go. Because then we're at least going to be surrounding them. 22 to 60. If I just get a good charge in there, they should break. Because archers are all back to normal. Keep unloading. They're all wavering. It's just these guys just don't break. But they are good units. What's the stats on these ones again? Um... Uh, Really? That's a militia unit? I thought it wasn't. Uh, but it's now wavering. Yeah, run them down, and then let's try and charge on in. Oh yeah, I think this is the chain route I want right here. Oh yes. Yes it is. Beautiful. Okay. Yeah, we got 20, uh, 85 percent of the forces now. Um, let me continue running them down just a little bit more. Because I want to make sure I get all of them. I think some of the units might have ran off the map. But I think that is good right about there. So we've now killed the king. I'm okay with this. Ah, oh, good. I'm so glad that that guy instantly fucking died. Just immediately, just immediately killed the hell over. And uh, made us the, the rest of that was not that bad. I did lose a lot of infantry, which kind of concerns me. But I can send some reinforcements up here. And then keep pushing into Denmark. I think Denmark, depending on how this goes. Um, yeah, try and ransom. Okay. okay. Um... Denmark should maybe take me... Like, I might be able to kill them next video. Or the video after. Depends on how things go for us right now. Um, but with us taking Ribe there... That's actually pretty good for us. We killed their king. Uh, oh, they're gonna be... They're not gonna be excommunicated now. Shit. Damn it. Okay, no. I, I will have to kind of hold back a little bit. I can kind of have it so we focus more of our attention on to, I would say, uh, Venice for now instead. Because, yeah, no, that's gonna make it so that they're now no longer excommunicated. So, we'll hold off. Build up Ribe, kind of just recover, build our strength up um, after that fight. And then we can focus our attention to Venice for now instead, actually. That way we're not going to be expanding as much. So that should make it so that the amount, the amount that people hate me should slowly go down if we take a couple turns to not expand nearly as much right now. I think killing armies is fine, just don't take cities nearly that often. Okay, so we were able to sack that region. Um, Theologians Guild in Frankfurt. What does that do again in this mod? Because I know... Uh, blockade Port Roskilde. I don't have a fleet for that. I'm not opposed to it. Um, but first, you guys make so much more money now. Um, I want to check because I know this mod, if I remember correctly, actually does a bit more with the guilds. Um, not a little bit. Does increase in trade goods. Religious conversion. Not a bad thing to have, honestly. Because I will need to have global conversion. That will be something that's nice to have at some point. 
So you know what? I will accept the theologian's guild here. Uh, population growth. Let's see. So this is just yes, during the campaign. There's some the possible amount of growth. Um, yeah, so there's just we need to make sure that we're actually taking consideration the what we're doing with our lords uh, to try and help it grow a little bit more because there's a bunch of things that help without it. So province of fertility level, the farms, building health, prom, building growth things, and then generals governing. Chivalry? I desperately do need chivalry because I need a lot of chivalry right now to be able to help some of these areas. And then I know some cities, actually, no matter what I have, it's always going to be difficult to grow those areas, though. Again, missing funds. I'm all aware of that. Um, routes, and then... Um, yes, you guys can grow now here. So I did start constructing the dirt tracks around here, but that's fine. They're a pretty cheap thing. We can just convert them, uh, switch it around. And then also, uh, we is also where you upgrade, too. Um, so we can build that up as well. I like it. And then I think this is actually going to be... Uh, a pretty good time to end the video for now. Um, I do need to make sure before I forget the spy here. Your goal is to make your way down south and figure out what's going on with Venice. Because um, I probably I'm going to be focusing my attention on that. They're currently at war with me, Serbia. Um, actually, that means they lost some land over here then, because I think they had something around here at some point. I'm going to be done for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments down below. I love hearing what you guys have to say about this campaign and any other thoughts you have on it in general. But this is Rimpan, and I'll see you guys next time. Because um, I'm probably I'm going to be focusing my attention on that. They're currently.